hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button that way you get notified every time i upload a new video today we're going to be talking about yvette xo and beauty bird yesterday there was an event where a lot of influencers attended to celebrate becky g's makeup line now being available in ulta and it brought a lot of attention because at this event both yvette and beauty bird attended as well and we all know that the two had beef and ended their friendship due to business. For those of you who don't know the situation, I'm going to fill you in on a little recap. Last year in June, Beauty Bird tweeted that the two had an issue on a personal level. And Beauty Bird decided that the best decision for her was to part ways and end their friendship. Once Yvette saw this tweet, she explained that she herself had no clue they were no longer friends because Beauty Bird never discussed that with her and Yvette had to find out publicly and explain what happened between the two. We mixed business with friendship and for those of you guys who were asking about the contractor, yes, it was her dad who was working in my house. The problem here with me that I had was the fact that I didn't know that this was happening. I found out that she, she and I were no longer friends the day that you guys found out that she and I were no longer friends. All you had to do was tell me like, you don't want a thing to do with me and that's it. But I didn't get any explanations. After I confronted her about her unfollowing me and her, you know, saying what she said, you know, she did tell me like, I don't want anything to do with you. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you. But then went on Twitter and said that she wished me the best, you know? So it's like, to me, it's just like you're playing two, you're, you're playing two parts right now. And that's just giving me like ugly vibes at this point, you know, because I was genuinely trying to be nice. Since the two attended the same event yesterday and everybody knows that they have beef, people were definitely curious to know if it was awkward or, you know, if anything happened between the two. Some asked Yvette on her Facebook Live and this was her response. Is it awkward to be at an event when there's people you have beef with? Honestly, like, I don't ever go to events and it's not because of people I don't get along with. I just have always been like that. Like, if you guys have been following me for a long, long time, you guys know, like, I've never gone to events. Like, it takes a lot for me to, like, even go to, like, um, an event. And it's not because I don't like anyone or anyone doesn't like me. It's just a comfort level. You know, it's a comfort level. And it's a different life. I feel like a lot of people like to talk about, like, how it is to be on the internet. But unless you're... It's a different... It's a different world. It's a different world. And it's a different world that a lot of people are not ready to hear about. But no, I don't have a problem with it. Like, if I'm there to support somebody, like, I could really care less who's there. There's nothing. Apart from that, she was also asked to answer honestly on how the event was because everybody on their Instagram stories gave Mean Girl vibes, which again involves Beauty Bird because she was with a whole bunch of cliques and influencers. Here's what Yvette had to say to that question. Somebody said, Blanca, how was last night's event? Honestly, honest opinion. Everyone on their IG stories gave me Mean Girl vibes. Everyone in the, everyone in their own cliques, Mamona vibes. <laughs> My God. Honestly, guys, I feel like it sucks because I feel like I wish that I could be a lot more open about how certain situations are, but in the type of industry that we're in, it's either you just shut the fuck up and keep your mouth shut and just let it go, um, or you say something, you know what I mean? And to me, it's just like, I've tried to like open up about certain situations and people always use like my own feelings against me that I just don't even bother anymore. But events and stuff, I don't go to them for a reason, obviously. And that's just like a reason I guess I'll take to the grave until I die. <laughs> but the the event yesterday in general was very intimate it was super like just it was a very sweet event and we can't take away from the fact that it was for becky and like the end of the day that's just who it was for and you know her like backstory with like how i even like got connected with becky g um her mom was following me for a minute and i didn't even know and she was always like dming me and like messaging me and stuff like that so then i got invited what did i get invited to 
Well, Wendy told us that her mom was always talking about you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So my nail girl that I had at the time who does Becky's nails, she was like, oh, my God, like, um, Becky's mom's always talking about you. And, like, she's always saying how, like, you remind her so much of her and, like, how you're just so sweet. And, like, I was like, oh, how freaking cute. So I looked her up on Instagram, and then I saw that she was, like, always messaging me. And I was like, oh, my God, like, how freaking cute. So then I got invited to her album release. And this okay. was, like, three years ago? It was a, it was a, a minute ago. And, um... I got invited to the album release and then she like we just kind of hit it off you know like she was talking to me and she was telling me about like her like just moving and then and then i saw her again at a christmas party that cheeky's had and um lisa's was there that time and they were just telling us like oh like becky's like the sweetest soul ever like despite the fact that she's a fucking celebrity okay like she's like a celebrity okay um she's like a queen herself and she just like super like just vibed with us really well like she was just telling Elisa it's like her her uh, boyfriend was there and like he was telling Elisa's like oh like if you guys ever need anything you know we're um we're here for you guys like they're just so fucking sweet so of course I had to be there you know like I had to show up and support and at the end of the day like that's all that matters no matter what any other situations are but it was cute it was a really really cute thing and in all honesty, I think Eva is being truthful because she's explained in multiple occasions that she has severe anxiety, which is why she doesn't attend events. And her assisting this event was to genuinely support Becky G regardless of the situation and beef that she had with Beauty Bird. Yvette answered the question maturely and I'm glad she addressed it because a lot of people were continuously asking how it went while her and Beauty Bird were in the same room at the same event, etc. I know if I was in their position, I'd definitely feel awkward, but at the same time, if you're there to genuinely support someone, I think it's best to leave those problems aside, and I'm glad Yvette did that. Please feel free to leave a comment down below, share your thoughts and opinions, I love reading them. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you always for the continuous support, I appreciate you all, I hope to see you in my next video.